Hello, beautiful people. You are welcome back to Physique Court Fashion House channel. My name is Paula. Uh, we are give, grateful for as many that has been subscribing to our channel. And if you are yet to subscribe, try to subscribe today. Thank you. So today I'll be teaching you how to make a draped skirt. You can, you know, sew it as a normal skirt. You can attach it to the upper part of your dress. You can make it as a dress. So let's get started. And this is the pattern we'll be using for it. And uh, firstly, ensure that your pattern paper is on foot. Let it be on foot as this. So the length I'll be working with here is uh, like 36, that's six inches. But you know, we are working with a long length, longer uh, skirt. So your, your long skirt might be 40, uh, 45 or whatever but the um seam allowance we'll be using at the damp part is just half so just take note of that it's just that the pattern paper we are working with statuses but then that's why i stopped there so now this is the waistline and the half inches have been drawn out as the seam allowance for the upper parts and this is the hip line nine inches serve as our hip line so now the waist we are working with is a uh, 28 so i divide the 28 by 4 and it gives me 7 so i get my 7 here at the waistline then one inch seam allowance then the hip we are working with is 38 so if you divide 38 by 4 it gives us a nine and a half you get your nine and a half, then one inch uh, seam allowance. Then for the tip of your skirt, what you do is that you have to deduct two, two and a half or three inches from your hip uh, measurements. And you know our hip measurements here after division is a uh, nine and a half so let's be in the middle let's just de uh, deduct a two and a half from our hip measurement which is a nine and a half if you deduct two and a half from a nine and a half it gives us a seven so you get seven at the down part here then seam allowance of a, an inch then you the next thing is to to connect it you connect the waist to the hip, then the hip to the tip of your skirt. So this is the pattern drafting of the um, front cut of our drape, uh, draped skirts. So the, the only thing I want to explain to you at the waistline here is that if you are making your draped skirt, if, you, if what you want to achieve is a normal skirt, is skirt, so what you need to come down here by one, you come down at the waistline here by one. Then you take your you know, French curve to connect it to the to this end. So that is if you are making skirt. But if what you are making is dress, if you are to attach this to the hopper part of your dress, so you don't need that. So that is why we are not going to do anything concerning that. A. So now the next thing is to Cut it out now and proceed with our. So, but before then, let's just uh, blend it part A so that it won't be too sharp. We want to cut it out now. So mind you, this half inch up here is your seam allowance to be attached to your to the upper part of your dress. So let's cut it out. So the next thing we have to do now is to get the front, to get the shape of the of the front. You know, it's over, over it's overlap. So that is what we want to achieve now. So now you can see from the folding of this uh, uh, paper that uh, this is the center of our skirt now. So to achieve the overlapping part of it, what you do is that you get the knee length, knee length you know of the of the client i mean 
from waist to the neck of the client. And the, um, the one we're having here is 22. So that 22 now, you just get it on this line. This is 22 now, the knee length of the client. So you just come down like uh, two inches more. So making 24. So here now. So this is the point at which our overlapping will be crossed now to, to the end of the skirt. Because if you don't let it come down to that level, if you use, maybe you use like 18, you know, if you come up, um, if you come up than this, the, by the time your client is uh, working, the, you know, the dress will be opening, so which might not be too nice. So this is the point we are working with now for our overlap. So to achieve that now, you get, you mark where your hip line is, and our hip line is uh, around A, which is a uh, nine and a half, you know, half for, half for the seam allowance up, the nine inches as our hip line. So you get that place where nine and a half is. So it is around here. So what you do now is you now take your your French cuff, place your French cuff as this. So what you are trying to achieve is to come to this end now. So you just first of all get your your seam allowance, which is one inch. This is it. That is on that hip line. So you place your French cuff like this to hit this uh, center where we are going to achieve our overlapping. Then we are still moving on. You know, this is a seam allowance of a one inch here. So you take your French cuff again. So now this time around, you can choose we're going to use a free hand sketch, you know, to connect. Or oh, if you can, you, you can use your off now. This is where we're coming to. So we just blend it. So this is it. So this is what we want to achieve. So the next thing is to cut it out now. Now, as I was explaining earlier, before you start, uh, you know, achieving your your draping parts now, what you do is that you first of all use this pattern to cut one part, like a right part of your skirt. You use it to cut it out. So make sure you mind the the wrong side and the you know the right side of your fabric. So this one you are going to the one you are going to use to cut out use this one to cut out will be the one that is by the right, which is going to be inside because it is the draped one that will be by the left. So that will be obvious. So make sure you first of all before you start achieving your draping parts, first of all use this pattern to cut one of your overlap uh, skirt to cut it out. Use this to cut it out first. So now I want to move straight to the draping parts. So to achieve our draping parts now, so what we do is that from this up part now, we mark one, one inch, one inch, one, so after marking out this uh, one, one inch down here, so the next thing to do by this side is to first of all get one inch, get your, your one inch like this. Then you begin, you now begin to get two, two inches by this side now. Begin to mark your two, two inches. Like, uh, you know, count how many mark you have here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you begin to get that one. Now until you get a nine mark here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then, so yes. 
So the next thing is to now connect this uh, line together. So we begin to connect. I don't have any business with this line now. Yes. So having done this now, so the next thing to do is to, you know, begin to slash this line now. So you won't slash it to the end, so you have to be careful. So you just be stopping something like two to three inches before the end. Now, you can see now that uh, we have slashed all those uh, lines. All those lines have been slashed. So, the next thing to do now is to now take another paper. Then you place this on it. Then when you place it, it's now the time for the application of your pen now. So, before you start uh, spreading your draping ensure that you hold this one down here the the draping part hold it down here with the new you know um, pattern paper you place under hold it down here and hold it down here then you start uh, spreading Then you now measure your two inches on it. You hold down the next one. On the line of that two inches. Yes. So from there you measure another two inches on that line, you hold down the next one now our draping has been held down with a office pin so the next thing to do now is to begin to fold it these two two inch cheese that we have uh, added uh, interval we are going to be folding it now to match it. So I mind you, you have to be folding it up, not down. So ensure that as you are folding that your two, two inches, you know, when you fold your two inches into two, it makes one. So that folding will now lay on the previous uh, one. Now, our pleating has been done now. We have pleated everything now. So I note that this last one, the last pleating, we then pleat it on the on this uh, slash, so we pleat it on its own. That is just for this last the upper um, two inches. So that is that. So after after uh, you know holding it down with your pin, you now measure what you are having by this side. You know from waist to hip, what we are having is in nine, uh, nine and a half. So you now measure it to get your nine and a half. This is it. So our nine and a half has been achieved by this side after folding this thing up. So the next thing to do is to take that your fabric that I told you earlier that you must have uh, cut down before slashing. I mean one side of your 
of your dress. So I cut down mine. This is a pattern. So this is what I will now place on this side now to cut out this paper. You can see the nine and the half inches we are having here is what we have here now. So I will use it to cut it out. That is it. Then I will now cut this uh, cuff. So mind you, when you are, you know, placing it on your fabric, ensure that uh, you have added a uh, half an inch to this side that you will use as a hem allowance for the overlapping parts. So I use your this pin to secure this pin. So I shape the hip parts now. This is it. And then this is the way it's going to overlap. So the next thing I need to tell you now is that I'll, before I use this, before I use this to cut out my fabric, I will have to lose all this pin again. So I will lose it. So after losing it, I will hire this paper to cut out the fabric for this uh, open. So after cutting out my fabric, this is the way, the way I folded it here, the way I, you know, hold this my plating, that's the way I'm going to hold that uh, my real fabric. So I will lose, I will, re I mean, I will remove all these uh, pins so that you see the effect it has. But after folding your plating in your fabric, this is the result you are going to, you are going to have, it's going to overlap like this and the, the drape will, the, will, will be there. So you're removing all the pin I used to hold my pleatings now. So um, be careful as you are removing it, not to remove the original, the one you place on the drapey. So these are the pleating. So, okay. so this is the pleating, not this. So you can see. So this is it. So before you now use this, you can see the effect we are having now. Before you now use this to cut out your uh, your main fabric, ensure that you high on it. You high on everything. Let everything be high on. You know, um, fabric is not like paper. After ironing it, after ironing this paper, and you place it on your fabric and cut out your fabric. By the time you will be holding the, um, the pleatings in your fabric. Your fabric is soft, so it won't be as hard as a paper. So this is what you will use and cut out your fabric. So before you now begin to pleat the fabric and achieve what we show you previously. So my loved ones, I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. So if you try to give it a big thumbs up, like it, share with your friends, and uh, make sure you subscribe to this wonderful channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.